Today we have a three pack of stories coming in, really fresh right off the press. You guys all know we had that Super Mario Bros. Wonder Direct earlier today and... Ooh, so exciting! I could go into a giant summary on that, but actually I want to focus on the new information we have gotten out since. There's been updates to the Japanese website. Oh, and yes, Preview coverage has been dropping all day. It's like I told you guys, previews were coming today. So we're gonna go over some of the new information we learned out of that. Hey, we also have a couple new game announcements. Well, actually one of them's not really an announcement. It was just confirmed by a ratings board. The other one was an actual announcement. Both of them coming to Switch, super exciting stuff. And then we're gonna end today by me just giving you my thoughts on Mario Wonder as it stands today. That being said, folks, what are we waiting for? Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring-a-ling that ding-a-ling so you're notified of every video, because you know what? Here's the bottom line. We're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers this year. With your help, we just might do it. All right, folks, without further ado, let's get into today's news. <laughs> So we're gonna start by diving right into the Mario Wonder stuff because there's so much of it. Don't be surprised if over half of today's episode is all about Mario Wonder because that just is what it is. It, it looks like a wonderful experience. All right, folks, let's get into the previews and the new information that we've gleaned from those previews, including online co-op. And I'm not talking about the online Nintendo showed off. What? Yeah, let's get into it. So there are two badge types, including action and boost. The action ones were shown off in the direct and give you those extra abilities, but the boost ones weren't shown off as much, although one of them was. They are passive abilities, the boost badges, like additional coins, starting the stage with a super mushroom power up, etc. Now, I did say during the direct, they did show off one, and that one was the boost badge that let you have a sensor to find like alerts, you know, alert you of special passages and secrets in the levels. But yeah, those are like passive abilities rather than ones you could just activate and use whenever you want. Now, let's get into some stage information because hey, that is some stuff we can glean. Uh, one of the stages, Scram Skedaddlers, offers a new enemy type called Skedaddlers, and they run away as soon as they see you. You have to chase them down to grab whatever they have. In the stage, Bull Rush coming through, you avoid bull rushes. The enemies are apparently bulls, guys, not sheep and other stuff like you guys were trying to convince me. Oh, my initial... My initial instinct was correct on that one. I'm pretty excited there. You can trick them to run in the barriers to open secret pathways. The stage also happens to have multiple endings and exits. If you have the bull rush, take out the flagpole at the end, and the stage just keeps going until you reach an alternate exit that gives you an additional wonder seed. This stage, therefore, due to the multiple exit points, actually has three seeds, not two. One of the online multiplayer modes does involve badge challenges. One of those is a wall climb challenge, and it's a vertical stage where you need to reach the top before the other players. Local co-op does get rid of a lot of the chaos of prior entries. You cannot interact with each other outside of riding Yoshi and hitting the ghost to bring people back, also obviously sharing items. No picking people up, running into each other, bouncing off each other, etc. Also, in local co-op, every player has the same badge activated. Now, let's get into some more stage descriptions. Jewel Block Cave is a dark cavern with breakable jewels that house secrets. This stage uses the drill mushroom a lot. At one point, the ceiling comes crashing down and you have to break through the gems to escape. Ma Ma Mouthful is where the bubbler flower comes into play. One of the key mechanics here is when you hit the wonder flower, you become a Goomba who can't jump and you need to avoid the Ma Ma enemies. It is a stealth section in what is normally a fast paced Mario experience. Bloomps of the Desert Skies is another stage where you deal with a ton of bloomps and then your wonder seed turns you into a balloon. It's apparently a really crazy segment according to multiple previews. According to The Completionist, yes, a fellow YouTuber, and we gotta be careful with this one a little bit, he was told, so he was told by people at Nintendo, that two players on one console can connect to two players on another console 
online just like Couch Co-op. Note, he is actually the only person to say this. And so I am wondering if he maybe misheard what he was told since nobody else brought it up. But hey, it's out there. So if that's a mode in the game they didn't show off, that could be something that we're getting in addition to that. Now, there are three purple coins available to collect in each level, so you get those collectible action going on. To get a Wonder Seed at the end of the level, you do have to hit the top of the flagpole on your jump, but if you're playing in co-op, only one of the four players, or four possible players, needs to hit the top. Unlike some prior entries where if you needed the big collectible at the end, you know, everyone would have to hit the top of the flagpole. Now, beyond all of that, it seems that the general consensus is that this game is very good. Now, throughout all of that, I was trying to show you guys some new footage I was able to gather from some of the previews. Link to every preview down below if you want that we've used to reference here. If you want to go check them out, especially for the footage, because there's a lot of footage out there today. We'll keep you updated if there's any other crazy footage that comes out in the future. But today, all the previews are based basically showing you the exact same stages. So if other stuff leaks out in the future, we'll definitely be on top of it. But as of today, there's so much that the best I could do is link you to everything or we'll just be here all day for hours on end watching preview footage. Our next story is a shorter one, but definitely one that's important because it involves a new game coming to Switch. We're talking about Beyond Good and Evil Anniversary Edition. Apparently it has been rated by the ESRB and is coming to Nintendo Switch. And we don't know when it's going to come because the game hasn't even been announced. Now, if it's rated by the ESRB, it's sometimes it's safe to assume it'll come later this year. It could be a surprise drop in the Nintendo Direct coming next month. I don't know. What I do know is that it is coming, and I hope that with this game coming out, and by the way, it's coming to all platforms, not just Switch, that this signifies that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is going to actually come out at some point, because that's the game I know I'm waiting for, even though I don't expect it on a Nintendo platform, or maybe I should on Nintendo's next generation Nintendo platform, because Ubisoft? and Ubisoft likes working with Nintendo, but then they don't bring Assassin's Creed, but maybe that's gonna change, although we do have some Assassin's Creed games on Switch, but they're not the new ones. I mean, this is a big, deep rabbit hole. We can keep going down it. We're talking about hypothetical hardware. All right, it's time to move on. And our last story actually is something that was officially announced, and that is the Borderland 3 Ultimate Edition. Yeah, that's right, folks. It's coming to Nintendo Switch on October 6th for $59.99. Woo! Well, okay, it's a little expensive. Well, what are you going to get if you decide to buy this, you know, ultimate edition of Borderlands 3? Well, you are going to get all of the online modes, so nothing cut from the game. It does include the base game, and then it also comes with all these additional content additions that release forward over time, such as the Moxie's Heist of the Handsome, Jackpot, Gun, Love, and Tentacles, The Married of Wainwright and Hammerlock, Bounty of Blood, Psycho Krieg, and the Fantastic Fuster Cluck, Designer's Cut, Director's Cut, and 30 Cosmetic Items. Now, beyond that, they're also launching a brand new podcast series for the game called Echoes from the Borderlands. New episodes go up every Thursday at 5 a.m. Pacific after the game launches. It will be on podcast platforms and Gearbox's official YouTube channel. All right, guys, with all of that out of the way, let's get into some of my thoughts today on that Mario Direct, because you're not really going to hear me talk about this probably till next week at some point, because I got some plans. So here's what, we, what I am thinking about Mario Wonder right now. Holy moly, it looks wonderful, delightful, stupendous, fantastic. The previews only may be more hyped. I know sometimes previews, you know, you can get some information you don't want. Maybe you got plenty from the direct, so you skip that entire segment of my video. So in this portion, I'm not gonna dive into the spoilers that you might get out of the previews. But what I will say is this is the 2D side-scrolling Mario game that I have been waiting for. I am more excited for this than I have been excited for a side-scrolling Mario game since the release of Super Mario World which by the way is my favorite side-scrolling Mario game. Go figure. And hey, one of the features from Super Mario World is coming back in that you could do item swapping. Of course, it's a little more convenient in how it handles in Wonder because you could, you know, in, in World it will like drop from the sky and you might not get it. This, it's a lot more convenient, but whatever. The times have 
advanced forward and we are getting what I feel is going to end up being the definitive side-scrolling Mario experience. Although there's going to be a lot of nostalgia and love as always, especially for things like Super Mario Brothers 3 and Mario World. Those are Man, those are some fantastic Mario games. And I do think that Super Mario Bros. Wonder has an opportunity to join their elite ranks. So that is my general thoughts on that. That being said, I hope today's audio was even better. And if it's not, then I don't know what I'm doing. Well, to be honest, I never really know what I'm doing. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.